All right, the state can call its next witness. And your honor, the state calls Sheila Daybell. Solemnly swear or affirm the testimony you're about to give will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. So I hope you got. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. All right, before the uh, witness testifies here, I am going to inquire because this trial has been, is the exclusionary order in effect for this witness? And your honor, I believe that because she's the mother-in-law of one of the victims that it doesn't apply to her. It's also our understanding that she did observe some of the trial uh, on video, but my understanding is that because she's the mother-in-law of Tammy Daybell, that that's okay and that she's able to view that. Okay, thank you for clarifying that. I'm not gonna inquire then as it relates to the court's exclusionary order. So Ms. Beatty, you may go ahead and inquire on direct. Thank you, Your Honor. Ma'am, can you please state your full name and then spell your last name? Okay, Sheila Daybell, D-A-Y-B-E-L-L. -L. And do you prefer for me to call you she Sheila or Ms. Mrs. Daybell? Sheila's fine. Okay, thank you. Sheila, are you married? Yes. Who's your husband? Jack Daybell. And do you and Jack Daybell have children together? Yes. Who are those children? Chad, um, Paul, Matt, Brad, Becky. And is Chad here in the courtroom today sitting over yes. there? Okay. Did you know an individual named Tammy Daybell? Yes. And who was Tammy Daybell? She was my daughter-in-law. Did Tammy Daybell pass away in 2009? Yes, 19. In 2019, thank you. Do you recall the last time that you saw Tammy Daybell? Yes. When was that? Um, October 13th of 2019. Where were you when you saw Tammy? At her home. And where is her home located? In... Um, Sugar City, Idaho. Okay. And where do you and Jack live? Springville, Utah. So you and Jack traveled to Idaho to yes. see Tammy and Chad. What was the occasion? Uh, baby blessing. And when you saw Tammy on October 13th of 2019, how did her health seem to you? She was fine. Okay. And did you receive a call from Chad Daybell on October 19th of 2019? Yes. What did Chad tell you in that phone call? That Tammy had passed away. What did you do when you got that phone call? We immediately went to Idaho. Did you go to Chad and Tammy's house? Yes. Did you see Chad there? I did. How would you describe his demeanor? Um, upset. <laughs> Were Chad's children there as well? Yes. How would you describe their demeanor? Upset. And did you attend a memorial service for Tammy Daybell? Yes. And where was that? In Springville, Utah. At some time, did you learn that Chad Daybell had moved out of the residence that he had shared with Tammy? Yes. Do you remember approximately when you learned that? I don't remember a certain date. Okay. Uh, could you estimate approximately how many weeks after Tammy's death that that happened? Oh, maybe two to three weeks. Were you surprised to find out that Chad had moved out of the residence? Yeah. I want to talk to you specifically about November, the middle of November of 2019. Did you and Jack travel to Idaho? We did. 
Did you meet with Chad at a Texas roadhouse yes. in Idaho Falls? Yes. Was it dinner time, lunch time? Dinner time. Okay. Now you and Jack met Chad at the Texas Roadhouse. Was somebody else there? Yes. Who was that? Lori Vallow. Had you ever met Lori Vallow before? No. During that dinner, did Chad tell you and Jack anything about his relationship with Lori Vallow? I don't think he did as much as Lori did. Okay. What did Lori tell you? Well, she just, we noticed that they had these rings on and my husband said, are you engaged? And they said, no, we're married. Were you surprised? Yeah. Did they tell you when they had gotten married? No. Now on November 13th of 2019, this was approximately a month after Tammy's death. Mm -hmm. Is that why you were surprised? Yeah, I was. Okay. Did Chad or Lori tell you anything about whether or not Lori had been married before? Uh, Chad didn't. Did Lori? Yes. What did Lori tell you? Oh, that she'd been married before? Yes. Well, she just said that her husband had recently died did she say how he had died? Heart attack. When Lori said that her husband had died of a heart attack, what did Chad say, if anything? I don't remember any, any specific mention. Okay. And did Lori or Chad say anything about whether or not Lori had children? She said she had a daughter that had died. Do you remember how old that daughter was? She didn't say a date at the time. Did she say anything about whether or not she had a young son? No. When Lori said that her daughter died, did Chad say anything that you recall? I can't. No, I don't think. At the end of that dinner, did you believe that Lori had a daughter who had died? Yes. Okay. Did... Lori or Chad say anything about their financial situation during that dinner? Nothing specific. Did they make any reference to any uh, money that they'd come into? Not, nothing specific. Did they reference their financial situation at all? Just that they were okay. Okay. Where were they living at the time? You know, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Do you know what state they were living in at the time? Um, at that dinner, I didn't know. I, I thought Idaho, maybe. Okay. And at some point, did you learn that they had moved to Hawaii? Yes. And after you learned, uh, well, actually, I should, I should ask you this. Do you remember approximately when you learned that they had moved to Hawaii? Mm. Sometime after that. Okay. I don't know when exactly. Within a few weeks or months of that dinner? A few weeks. A few weeks. Did you talk on the phone with them from time to time while they were living in Hawaii? Yes. Did they ever mention Lori having children there with them? No. Okay. And I have no further questions for this witness. All thank right. You. Thank you. Mr. Pryor, cross-examination. Good morning, Ms. Dabo. Hi. Prosecuting attorney asked you about um, your children. Uh, obviously, you have a son, Chad. Is that right? Yes. And who are the other children? Paul and Matt. Okay, let's go slowly, though. <laughs> and Paul is married to an Emily, if I remember right. Is that right? Yes. And then who's the next one? Matt. And Matt's here today, right? Yes. Wearing a green shirt. Okay, and, and who is Matt married to? Heather. Okay. And going back to Emily, do you have a good relationship with Emily? Very good. Very close. 
How would you describe Hunter, your? I'm going to object based on relevance. I don't. I don't understand the relevance of um, Mrs. Daybell's relationship to Emily. Uh, I don't see any relevance here either, Mr. Pryor. Is there relevance, Judge? Uh, in regards to Emily, it, it's it's a source of information uh, that she received about uh, some of her testimony. So that's where I, I guess I could stop with Emily at this point and then present the relevance on the other witnesses as I go forward. But I'd like to start with Emily. Okay, well, I'll sustain that then uh, at this point. Okay. And in regards to um, um, Emily, uh, at the time... Um, of this case, you were contacted by law enforcement and asked some questions, I mean, think of uh, Lieutenant Ball, do you recall that? Yes. And prior to that, you received or had some discussion with Emily about the case and some facts about children, is that right? Yes. Okay. And it was Emily who provided you the information about uh, Lori Vallow having a daughter, is that correct? Well, I had talked to, um, Lori at that dinner, and she had said that da okay. daughter. But did the interview with, um, oh, and the interview with Lieutenant Ball occurred in December, that's correct. Mm -hmm. And and when you met with Lori, she discussed with you the idea that, or told you that she had a daughter, is that correct? Yes. And she told you that daughter was deceased? Yes. Okay. And when you interviewed by Lieutenant Ron Ball, you confirm that that's the information that you obtained. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. Now you, you made a comment that um, it was Lori who was telling you this information. Is that accurate? Yes. And it wasn't Chad who was providing you any of this information, correct? No. Now I, I know you know your son, Chad, right? Because you gave birth to him. Right? Right. He lived with you in the same Springville area up until 2015? Yes. Okay. And then, ironically enough, uh, Tammy's family's from Springville as well, correct? Yes. So both uh, Tammy and Chad were both from that area. Uh, and then they migrated to uh, Idaho in 2015, correct? Yes. Okay. And... How would you describe Lori Vallow's personality in the manner in which she spoke with you? Very friendly. Okay. Very upbeat. Um, persuasive. Yeah. Would you would you would you say that when you talk to her, she could be very charming and convincing? Yes. Okay. Now we'll turn to your your son, uh, Chad, not Matt. Uh, your son, Chad. Uh, and your son Chad is—is is, would you describe him as someone who's who's shy? He can be. Soft-spoken. Yes. More of an introvert. And your honor, I think we're beyond the scope here. Objection. Overruled. Would you? Would it be fair to say that your son Chad is a bit of an introvert? Mm, yes. He's a book writer. Right. Mm -hmm. um, I'll also instruct the witness, please. You need to make a verbal response. So say yes or no. Oh. The nodding and okay. shaking your head doesn't come up on our record, unfortunately. Yes, he's a book writer. Okay. So he's not someone who is um, um, a group. I don't want to use that word. Um, he's not uh, gregarious. Do you understand what the word gregarious means? Yes. Okay. Yes. He's not a gregarious personality, is he? No. Um, he met Tammy at a relatively young age. Yes. And they got married very young. Yes. Uh, your your son Chad is not necessarily the, a man of the world, right? Not worldly. So he had he didn't have like a lot of experience in dealing with uh, relationships or anything like that, correct? No. In fact, Tammy was really his only ever real serious relationship. Yes. And that's the woman he married. Yes. Now, if we fast forward to Lori Vallow, um, 
she was a, a different personality, a much more dynamic personality, correct? Yes, for one hour. <laughs> yeah. And when we talk about Tammy, Tammy was a, a, a very kind soul. Yes. Very giving person. Uh, sort of the kind of person Chad is in terms of personality, right? Yes. So was this a bit of a shock that suddenly your husband goes from a very charming wife who's very kind, caring, loving mother to a uh, Lori Vallow? Yes. That was a bit of a shock. Yes. Now, I don't want to be um, perceived as um, being insensitive to a, a subject, but in the LDS faith, it's not uncommon to get married quite quickly, is it? Mm, not uncommon. Right. In fact, when uh, young men come back from their missions, they... It's not, an, you're smiling. When young men come back from their missions, it's not uncommon for them to uh, start a relationship with a woman and marry quite quickly. Would you agree with that? I would agree. Okay. So this situation with Chad, um, he had one marriage to Tammy and that was, uh, uh, met Tammy and then within a reasonably short time, they got married, didn't they? Yes. Had a family, had, had five children? Yes. And um, Chad also, after the death of Tammy, it was pretty quick. We can agree that it was pretty quick that he got married to Lori, correct? Yes. Okay. Now, on the day you came down for the, um, when Tammy passed away, you described your, your son as upset. Yes. Because you're visibly upset. Yes. Okay. And um, did you stay there long enough to see other people show up during that time? Other visitors, the neighbors? I, I understand the Gilberts came over. Were you there when the Gilberts came over? I don't remember names, but there were several people that came over. And at that time when several people came over, and how long would you say you were there? Oh, for four or five hours. Okay. And during the four or five hours after Tammy passed away, did your son ever look like disinterested in the death of his, his wife? No. He never did he did. ever look like he was just being stoic and businesslike when in dealing with his with Tammy's just recent death? He just acted like someone who just had their partner pass away, which is and at no time during the five hours that you were there and these friends were coming by, did you see anything other than someone who was upset and, and, and struggling with the loss of a partner? Is that correct? Yes. Okay. Judge, I don't think I have anything else. Thank you. All right. Redirect. Thank you, Your Honor. Mrs. Daybell, Sheila, do you think it's common within the faith, the LDS faith, to get married two weeks after your spouse dies? Not common. Okay. Thank you very much, ma'am. I have no further questions. Okay. Thank you. Then that will conclude the testimony of Ms. Daybell. Is the state going to be requesting an opportunity to recall her in the future in this case? No, she's excused. Uh, from the defense. Okay. If you appeared on a subpoena, you are released from that. Thank you for appearing and testifying you. today.